South American Mission Society started with Captain Alan Gardner. He sailed with the British Navy in the 1840s. He travelled many times around the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. After giving his life to the Lord Jesus, he knew he had to return to the people who lived at the far south of the great continent of South America. These people also needed to hear the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Patagonia and the remote southern island of Terra del Fuego had been forgotten about. But God had not forgotten these people. He was about to send them people with the good news of the gospel. Captain Allen and his small crew of three people landed on a remote beach in Terra del Fuego. But their plans took a turn for the worse. These visitors brought an important message of hope, but they were not welcomed. In fact, they were discouraged at every turn. The local people stole their supplies and left them with nothing. Things got worse when a support vessel never arrived. All the while, Alan Gardner kept his diary and continued to see the goodness and graciousness of God in his calling to go to, the, to, go to these forgotten and ignored people. Tragically, seven months, several months later, he and his companions succumbed to the cold and the morbid hunger. All was lost. They had paid the ultimate sacrifice in the name of the gospel. The supply ship had eventually arrived, hoping in their wildest dreams that somehow they would find the men alive. Instead, instead all they found were their remains. Saddened, they collected the men's things, including Alan Gardner's diary, and returned back home. Something remarkable happened. When they arrived back to England, the tragic story of life's loss at the end of the earth in the name of the gospel stirred something in the hearts of church people back in England. After the news of this recent event was published in the London Times, more men and women said they would go to Patagonia. Their goal was to follow in Alan Gardner's foot in Alan Gardner's wake and put their feet in his footsteps as they too went to the ends of the earth to tell of the gospel of their Lord and Saviour. The Patagonian Mission Society was formed from this seed. The first church was established in Ushuaia 15 years after Alan Gardner's death. A new bishop's vision meant that Anglican churches would soon spread from here gradually up the cone of South America into Argentina and Chile and then later into Paraguay, Peru, Uruguay, Bolivia and Brazil. Do you remember the words that Jesus said in John chapter 12? Truly, I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. Alan Gardner and his companions were a modern day parable as they perished on a cold forsaken beach. But the Lord was able to take what, what was lost and turn it into a harvest of lives. We can continue to be part of this story, offering the Lord our lives as we trust him to bring about the harvest. Sam's is committed to continue in partnering with the church in South America with the same conviction that Alan Gardner had, that Jesus Christ is the hope of the world to the ends of the world.